Welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja, and today I'll talk about a completely different topic which doesn't have anything directly to do with education, and that is my experience of having voted for the first time in the United States. I became a citizen last year, and so last night I just couldn't go to sleep because I was so excited about the prospect of waking up in the morning and voting in the Democratic primaries. So I'm not going to share who I voted for, but how I felt as I walked into the library and uh, presented my ID uh, was amazing. It was becoming a small part of a large mosaic, right, called this nation, and knowing that as insignificant as it might be that I have a little say in choosing who will govern in my name, right? And I think that's the beauty of democracy and its processes, that we enter a building to cast our vote knowing that individually we may not be all that important, that we might be insignificant, that the process might itself not be perfect, but that we get to do that. We get to have a say in choosing whosoever we give the right to govern in our name, right? So I kept this criteria in my mind that I have this limited minuscule power to add my voice to the general consensus amongst on one or two candidates today in the Democratic primaries. And I then voted for the most transformative candidate, the candidate who has a vision, maybe for a new America or a new nation, but whose vision includes the people right, in whose name he or she is running. I didn't vote for electability. To me, electability is always a subterfuge, right? It's someone coming to you and saying, uh, my best trait is my mediocrity, and we want to mobilize this in the next general election against the current president, so vote for my mediocrity because I'm not promising to rewrite the system to change the system. I just want to stay somewhere in the middle of the road and that makes me electable. I, I disagree with that. I think people who take a stand for whatever they believe in and include more and more people in their vision and then fight for it can be transformative. And that's the kind of person we need against Mr. Trump. We don't need someone who just keeps on saying, I'm a nice guy. No, people didn't vote Mr. Trump in because he's a nice guy. They like the way he performs his identity. They like his style. You're not going to dissuade them with being polite and nice and being mediocre. So that was my criteria. So I chose, of course, the most transformative candidate who has a track record and who has a following, a movement that believes in him, right? So it's pretty obvious who I voted for. But overall, for me, someone who came from Pakistan and has lived in the United States for over 25 years but waited until last year to become a citizen, uh, this experience of going and casting my ballot in a primary but still being part of the process was exhilarating and encouraging and hopeful because that tells me that in my small significant way I can be a part of this larger world in choosing those who will eventually govern in my name and impact the world. So that's all I have to say about my first time voting experience. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, peace and love.